There's a reason the people who stormed our nation's capital, who now take public pride in sowing terror in our community, call themselves proud boys and not proud men. They haven't yet learned to take responsibility as men do for how their behavior affects other people, the whole community. For as men, we learn to take responsibility for the whole, which means we learn to take responsibility even for that which we are not responsible. How else can we expect to hold a community, whether a family or a country, safe in our care if we are not willing to take responsibility for how our actions affect the entire community. If we only care for the parts of the community that are easy and convenient for us to care about. An adolescent boy uninitiated into mature manhood is still trying to figure out who he is, how to act, how to be, and what he should care about. And in our culture, which is largely devoid of wise male elders, adolescent boys are measuring themselves against the standards set by each other and by the older men around them who themselves have yet to deeply mature into a full-bodied, responsible manhood. And for this reason, boys tend to not hold each other accountable to moral behavior that serves the actual needs of their actual community, not their imagined community, but their actual community, because they haven't yet developed mature moral discernment. Men, on the other hand, have learned, are always learning, what it means to serve the greater whole. Thus, we firmly and always respectfully hold each other accountable when we witness behavior that does not genuinely serve. Boys haven't yet discovered that losing a contest doesn't mean they're somehow weak or of poor character. Men surely enjoy winning, yet we can also lose with ease and grace because we know no contest can ever define our character. Men know that winning doesn't make us more worthy in life or more worthy of love. But there isn't enough praise in the world that can fully quench the endless thirst of a perpetually adolescent boy who still believes his value or anyone's is measured by the stuff he accumulates the job title he holds, or the number of monuments built in his name. Men, on the other hand, can appreciate praise and enjoy having stuff, but they know their truest value as a human being is immeasurable, unimpeachable. It has nothing to do with our job title, our stuff, the size of our bank account, or how many sexual partners we have. Men can allow themselves to make mistakes, just as they can allow themselves to lose a contest because a man can embrace his perfectly flawed humanity and therefore everyone else's too. He doesn't need to wear a facade of invincibility or maintain dominance, power over others to prove his prowess. He knows that his true strength, the strength that inevitably overwhelms mere muscle or brain, is forged in the fires of his willingness to practice surrendering to the greater rhythm and flow of life, of which he and every other human around him and every plant and animal and rock too is an inherent part. In other words, he doesn't endlessly struggle for power over everything, including you, but rather a man's creed is that we are powerful together in partnership, harnessing all our perfect differences and diversities in service of creating a better world that daily serves us all. What is now happening, has been happening for a long time in the highest office of our country, is exactly what we should expect to happen when we put an uninitiated boy on a throne, one whose inner fragility requires endless external reassurance that he has worth and value. In other words, that he's okay in mommy and daddy's eyes. He can't allow himself to lose or to be a flawed human at all. He can't allow other people to disagree with him. He can't hear feedback from anyone, whether that be the press or his advisors, that maybe he fucked up sometimes. And such a man will proudly support, even encourage, other fragile boys who want to seize power over everyone else and who are proud to sow terror in the community. He'll support other adolescent boys who do this because he also hasn't learned to take full responsibility for how his behavior affects others. 
as men do. I'm Brian Reeves, Brian with a Y, Reeves.